guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today is monday so we're gonna do a productive monday in my life and i want to start out by doing an outfit of the day because i actually put something kind of cute on today which i don't normally do i'm usually always wearing just like comfortable casual clothes because i'm working at home um, but today I wanted to put something cute on because I wanted to take an outfit picture for Instagram So I'm wearing this tank top that I actually got from uh, Target yesterday Which I'm obsessed with and then this little belt bag that I'm wearing like this I got this from Amazon and then these are the pants that I got from uh, Urban Outfitters when I did my Urban Outfitters haul. They're like the wide leg flare pants and they're so cute And then these are my Steve Madden sneakers also have some little gold jewelry on as uh, some accessories and This is my look Chad's teaching CPR today So we didn't get to go grocery shopping so I don't have my coffee But even if I did let's be honest we'd probably go to Starbucks So I'm gonna go and run through the Starbucks drive through really quick This has been like a really bad habit you guys I'm gonna sit here and complain about it and then I'm still gonna go do it But really I need to like get a hold of myself it's gotten to the point where i'm like not even just getting it when i'm out but like going out to get it and then coming back home because it's just like become part of my routine now which is great because i love it but at the same time like it's expensive in the starbucks drive through seconds away from getting my coffee where i will finally feel alive Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Got my coffee, you guys know I've been asking for cream on the side every single time now because I am so annoying and particular about how much cream I want that if I have them do it, I'll be annoyed and it's my own fault for being so picky. So I just asked for it on the side. That way if I mess it up, it's on me. I've been really trying to get better about bringing my straw because I bought a few of the reusable Starbucks green straws and I actually used it over the weekend. I gave my sister one too. Um, we got Starbucks. She was here last weekend and so I did use my reusable straw but it's dirty and I didn't bring it with me so and I don't like coffee touching my teeth so I'm sorry. I know that I should be using a reusable straw. Okay so this still not quite the right color but we will get there a little more. That is about spot on how I like it. Sometimes I can ask for light cream and this is what it'll look like. Other times I ask for light cream and it's like super dark brown and like they just put a splash. Other times I say regular cream and it looks like this. So because of the inconsistency and me being so annoying, I just do it myself now and I always get it right. Oh, and if anyone cares what I got, I just got an iced coffee with three pumps of brown sugar and then um, obviously the cream on the side. Hey guys, I'm interrupting the vlog really quick to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video and I'm gonna show you guys how to make some really cute DIY projects. One of them is more of like a home decor thing and then the other one just kind of complements it. But because you guys know I did just recently get engaged, I wanted to take advantage of that and make something personalized to kind of like celebrate the engagement and put the date on there. Let's just get right into it. So for this project, you're going to need your Cricut, obviously. I'm using the Cricut Joy. You guys know this is my favorite machine because of how easy it is and you can also do so many different projects with this you can print so many different materials and it's honestly just the easiest most portable machine that they have you're also going to need your tools so the weeding tool and then this little guy here i'm using smart iron on transfer tape and the smart vinyl we're going to be making a mug and then we're also going to customize this picture frame and then of course in order to do the iron on part you're going to need your cricut easy press so i thought for the mug i'm going to go on the cricut design space and see if i can find a cute image of like a diamond ring or something Thing, and then put the date we got engaged and then for the picture frame I just picked one of the pictures from when Chad proposed to me on the beach and I I don't know this was like one of my favorite ones so I'm gonna put it in this frame and then we're gonna write engaged in really pretty letters and then I'm gonna put the date that we got engaged so just some super cute stuff I know Chad will end up using this coffee mug too okay so the first thing I'm doing is getting my measurements of the frame and the mug so this is seven inches and like I'm gonna say one and a half so that way it's centered not too close to the edges and like one and a half okay and then for this I am gonna do like a ring I think and so I probably want it like three inches I just went ahead and opened up Cricut Design Space and now I am going to just take a look at what images they have because they have so many images in here so I'm literally just gonna type in engagement and see what pops up Gives you a lot of good ideas. Like, look how cute that is. They have tons of different rings. 
Oh my gosh, that is really cute. Now I'm kind of thinking I wanna like put that on there. <laughs> so many good ideas on here. This would also be such a great gift idea if you know someone who just got engaged or even like wedding gifts and stuff because there's just so much on here. But for the sake of this project, I did already go ahead and design the files that I'm gonna use. So for this one, I'm gonna put this one on the picture frame. And so I'm gonna put it in here and then we're gonna insert it into the design space. And then this is where you want to use those measurements that we took and kind of make sure that you get it to be the right size. And the beauty of using the Cricut Joy is you don't have to use a mat. So I'm gonna click without mat. And anytime you're doing text, you wanna make sure that you turn mirror on and then click continue. You can go ahead and measure this for how much you need, but I always just put the entire roll in. That way I know it has enough for the project and I just cut the excess off when I'm finished. So now I'm just cutting off the extra. After that part, you're gonna want to weed away the excess vinyl. So that's what this little weeding tool is here for. And we're just gonna peel away all of the extra. Here's what it looks like after weeding and this is why it's so important that you turn mirror on because once you peel that away it prints backwards and then you're going to iron it on face down so that way you can make sure it's in the right direction and then you're going to go ahead and place it on the picture frame so once you placed it where you like on the picture frame we're going to go ahead and heat up the easy press on cricut's website they have an entire list of all of the heat settings for different projects so for this one i'm using 300 degrees because it's on wood and this is like painted wood and then 30 seconds i'm probably going to end up doing less than that you kind of have to just play it based on what your design is this is like super thin lettering and it's a pretty small design I don't think it's gonna need too much heat and this is the final product I'm obsessed with how beautiful this turned out this is why I love the Cricut. It's like so easy to make these cute little things. And honestly, this Christmas, I'm making people personalized gifts. I just loaded the vinyl into the Cricut Joy so that we can do the mug really quick. The process is pretty much exactly the same, but instead of using heat transfer vinyl because this is a rounded mug, which by the way, Cricut has a mug press now. So if you're into making mugs, highly recommend that but I don't have one, so it would be really difficult to try to use the heat transfer vinyl with that, which is like a flat surface. So instead, I'm gonna be using regular vinyl and then I'm gonna use my transfer tape to put it on the mug. So now you're just gonna take some transfer tape and for this project, I'm using regular transfer tape. Don't make the mistake of getting strong grip because it will make your life so much harder. Now I'm gonna use this little tool and press the transfer tape onto the vinyl. And then here is the final product of how the mug came out. This looks so cute, way cuter than I had imagined. The only thing that didn't come off is that little dash right there. I might even just pull this dash off because like on here it looks fine without the dashes, but where I might just like do another one really quick and stick that on there, we'll see. But it looks so cute, it turned out awesome. I am gonna seal both of these. I have polycrylic or you can also use Mod Podge. Um, well, polycrylic for the mug for sure, but then like I can just use Mod Podge for the picture frame. And that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys learned a new cute craft to try. I'll link everything that I use for this project in the description box in case you guys wanna check out Cricut. Now let's get back to the video. This is the influencer life. I really wanted to go somewhere shaded and the heat index is literally like 110 degrees today. Chad told me if I go outside, like make it short because it is so hot. So I don't wanna die. And I also don't want a ton of people staring at me. So I just came to a parking garage and I'm gonna take a cute little outfit picture really quick. I have my tripod and my phone and then we're gonna go home cause I have to pack orders. And I wanna do some product photography, like some flat lays and stuff for the Instagram for Sunstyled. Got my tripod. 
it truly is the perfect place to take pictures because look, there's like nobody around, so. Back in the AC, thank God, here's the ones that I favorited that I like the most. I cropped this one down a little bit and yeah, I think they turned out cute. Okay, I am back home now and I just logged on to my website and I'm about to start packing orders. I have a bunch of orders that came in because I finally dropped new inventory. If you guys have not checked it out, please go and check it out. Still summery stuff since we do still have another month of summer and Yes, so go check it out. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. Cause baby, I love you. Why you tryna be? Trying to build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no I don't wanna step into the light If I don't get you shoddy You bring out the sweetness of my life Oh yeah Come on and give me that I just finished packing orders. I gotta go put this in the car. And then when I get home, I have to work on my taxes, which this is so embarrassing and stupid, but I'm literally late on my taxes um, because I got it confused with the dates for my estimated quarterly tax payments, which is like my personal taxes, and then the date for my business sales tax, which is also quarterly, but the dates are different and I didn't put it in my calendar. And so I forgot and now I'm gonna have to pay late fee. So I really need to get that done. Just dropped off the packages and it is so freaking hot outside, but I'm really glad I went when I did because I literally just made it. The um, USPS like lady was in there scanning packages and to like pick up right as I came. So I like just made it for them to go out today. Otherwise they wouldn't have gone out till tomorrow. So perfect timing. And now we're gonna head home. And I don't even know if I'm gonna eat lunch at this point because it's almost four. this time I'm trying to like cover up anything obviously I can't show you guys like my actual tax information but if you own a small business at least for the state of Florida you do have to file taxes quarterly because that's the way it works here so I have a CPA who taught me how to do this um, last year during like my first full year of being a business owner and now I do it completely on my own so I just print out my reports from Shopify and then I go to the previous quarter just to kind of compare my numbers and reflect on you know any changes and 
filed my taxes. I'm so proud of myself. Normally I end up needing my sister to kind of do the math with me and this time I just went based on the previous quarters and I actually did it all by myself. So that feels good because my sister and I were supposed to do it over the weekend and we didn't get to it and I just decided I was going to do it on my own. I like sent her the stuff over email to look at and then you know she's working so I was just like I'm just gonna try like if I have any questions I'll just call her and I did it all by myself so I'm so proud and I submitted it and now I'm gonna work on doing some flat lays for the boutique of just some of the new arrivals I just want to kind of get like some photos to break up the boutique's Instagram feed because right now everything I have like planned to post is all just outfits of like the models wearing the outfits and I kind of want to like get some filler photos. I just unrolled my white backdrop and then I have my ring light right here and then I'm using the other side of my tripod to kind of hold that down and I'm just going to start piecing together little outfits and taking pictures and I'm just going to use my phone for this. I don't feel like pulling out my camera and because of it's a 50 millimeter lens I'll have to get a chair and like stand up really high and it's just annoying and a lot of work. So hoping I can get some cute photos just using my phone. Baby I do time Chad made us mashed potatoes, green beans, and steak. It's a bit later now and I am sitting here watching The Office. I just muted it really quick so I could end the vlog here because I want this video to go live today so that it is perfectly on time, not delayed, like filmed it today, uploaded it today. You guys used to love when I was like so on top of my vlog game that I would get vlogs up the same day they were filmed so it was like really current. So I'm trying to do that again. And so this video should be up tonight. And thank you guys so much for watching. And thanks again, Cricut, for sponsoring. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video.